Hi guys and welcome back to episode 9 of the Rain series. In the previous episode we were able to get in the woods and do one of Jaeger's tasks and uh, luckily enough in the final scav run we were able to get a sausage. In this episode I want to go on the streets, I want to try and get that sausage task done and um, hopefully we can either grab that Salewa or find a car med kit to craft the final one we need. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so first up, uh, we need to accept our dailies. So uh, mechanic, uh, survive two streets. Perfect. This is 3,100, 3,200 uh, XP. And this border shift grip uh, is needed for a gunsmith task a little bit later on. That's kind of hard to get. So it's kind of nice to have. There is a workaround, but having one early saves the effort. Uh, secondly, we need to find a 6B47 helmet down in raid. This one might be a little bit harder to get. Only because they're very common by players, but not so much by scav. And last but not least, uh, eliminate PMCs operators using SMGs or shotguns. We've got to kill three. We an SVD and a corrugated hose. That one might be a little bit tough. We'll see how we go. Just because we don't have any good SMGs until we have Peacekeeper level two. Um, otherwise, I, I'd be down to try and do that on factory. So this is the primary task that I want to get done uh, for this. So we have to go to the four stores and uh, we've already handed over the sausage. Whilst we're there, we're gonna try and do the dehydration task. Now there's a couple of tricks you can do for the dehydration task and we're gonna do that one right now. First one is we take a propital in. Um, the propital will heal you for four minutes or five minutes for one health a second. So that covers the, the, the time period of the dehydration. So it says you're gonna be dehydrated for five minutes. So you dehydrate yourself and then that will get you the five minutes covered. Next up, we need to dehydrate ourselves. The best way of doing that is by buying two of these uh, Anal gins. Now the anal gin takes off 19 hydrations and uh, takes three seconds to use. So in 12 seconds, you can pretty much use 80. So you use one and a half of these and you are out of hydration. So that's the hydration side covered. Once we have finished it being dehydrated, we do need to get some water. So we should get ourselves a rig and uh, and go into them when we have something to uh, hydrate ourselves. Now, gun wise, it looks like we're gonna be using the AKMS. Uh, we need a rig. We have an armor, helmet. So this is the helmet we need to find, but like I said, it needs to be found in raid. So it's gonna make it a little bit more tricky. And then a couple of mags. So let's make sure we've got the right ammo in there. Cool. So we need either a humpback or a car med kit or a salua. So that's how it's Solution. So you either get Salewa, car med kit, or a humpback. Either of those three items, and uh, we have finished our therapist task. Now, outside of that, uh, it would be nice to take in a backpack because we want to try and make some money. So we'll just take in uh, this one. And we are pretty much good to go. Uh, maybe take that in for meds, a couple heavy bleeds. We do have this down here still. Uh, and we'll be popping that propital pretty much straight away once the uh, anal gins are finished. So we can take a Vaseline if we still have that one. Cool. All right. So uh, that's it. That's everything we need. Oh, and we'll take in some water hydration for after the uh, after the dehydration is finished. So streets. We're going to take the cash in there for the car as well. So we can take the car extract. Streets. Daytime. Do we have any insurances? None. I sent my guys to retrieve your stuff. I've got a message that guys are in place and looking for your things. Everything that you're able to find will bring you. Don't sweat it. Where's our stuff, crapper? All right. We are in streets. So first things first. We'll show you our FPS. And we will eat up all our anal gins. We want to do this straight away. So we take advantage of the um, propital and then that way we're not going to have, uh, like even if we die after we've been in the dehydration for five minutes, we still don't, 
have to get dehydrated for five more minutes again. We just have to survive a raid. So it's just one less thing to worry about. And you don't want to use your, your juice, your water, until you've actually um, finished your like, five-minute period. If you do, you have to start again. So. This is like part of the new area. I'm not actually sure where I am. So I'll pretty much just try and lay low for the first five minutes. Just to try and get this uh, dehydration stuff done and then we'll start moving about a bit more. Oh, I think I know where I am. Okay. We'll go this way. So this is the Expo Extra one here. I haven't really ever explored too much over this section, so we'll just have a wonder. We'll wait for five minutes. Another player spawned in that corner there. And when you're dehydrated, you have literally no energy. We know no ability to run. Like I said, we're just gonna we're just gonna just take our time. I can't really even see what we're doing. This is a new painkiller effect. We're gonna treat. So yeah. I hope everyone's having a great week. Ooh, an impact night, nice. We wanna try and keep them as much as we can. For our grenadier task. Maybe for this time's grenadier task, we do something a bit cheeky. Like, I don't know. We go into a raid and just camp a hallway or a door or something. The grenadier task requires you to kill eight people with grenades. This wipe I pretty much did mine passively, except for the last like four on my main account. So we're actually still trying to get across to, well, we need to try and get either a, a humpback, a car med kit, or a lure. Right, so that's done now. We heard, heard it come up saying we finished it, so that's done. Should be able to see again now. I feel like I heard a scan. Alright, so our food stores are located 
One's over there. One's just here, I think. Oh, maybe not. I wonder if I can actually just go down here. If they've actually linked them. Um, what? Didn't know there was food in here. Oh, that was quiet for a sudden. It was an eerie quiet. I've never explored down here. This is new with the uh, with the latest patch. Player there. A player behind me, I've got. There's a player across the road. I'm trying to check this real quick. listening for him. I think we're good. We might not be good. <laughs> I think they went upstairs. There was a laser. There's a scav. But we want to get out of here. A bit worried there's a player above me. So our objective is to go to these food stores, so I'm gonna try and keep pushing towards that. This is one of them up here. I believe at least. Ah, there's one. Get the some hump back. Looks like gold paint. Looted. Sometimes there's some stuff missed here. Ah, this has all been looted. Alright. Dead scav. We touched the body for the experience points. So, as I'm walking around, I'm just looking up there for a sniper scav. Sometimes they're up there. And we're going to run down here. 
and try and get to the next food mall complex thing. So where are extracts? Crash site, damage house. So damage house is over there. Crash site all the way over the other side. So we need to go in this one. If we get a hump back, we should probably reset. Neil is. Max energy. Wash. Max energy. Okay. So, we're going to be heading over towards that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is... This is the one that's right next to uh, the construction. And this one's uh, next to crash side extract. So, I might cut through here, hoping that this is mostly cleared. Or at least that we don't run into too much trouble. Gonna keep on moving. We are literally doing a big lap of the map here. But there's no real need to, to extract through damage house. We haven't got that much loot. I hope there's scabs. Yeah, that, that, that slide that at the end usually means it's a scab. Power, players don't usually do those slides. This has all been looted. We're going to have to use what I call Code Brown. You're just going to have to forgive me for doing this. Sorry about that. I'm guessing uh, dinner, dinner didn't agree with me. Oh my God. All right, so <laughs> I am back. Um, let's continue on. Oh, that my pistol's got a lot on. Alright, so we need to get to the food, drink shops, uh, the supermarkets. I'm assuming there's another scam. I'm hearing running around. I could not see that guy. Another one outside by the sounds of it. Had a pistol, so we'll just get moving. I don't want to get held up here. Play with the VPO out here.
Ah, let's keep moving. Try and get to the, uh... People have already been here. How are we going for ammo? Okay, so we've got about half, half the mag, so... I'll T to check mag. Oh god. I was a player, or a player's cap. Oh, man, I stuffed up. I shouldn't have stuffed that. I think it was a player scav. Nope, it's a player. Mr. Wuzong. So, spawned in, we did the dehydration task, and then we started cruising around trying to do all the supermarkets. We got two of the supermarkets done. Um, oh, Kerry Brown. Took a bit of time, sorry for that. But yeah, we uh, we we perished. We died to... Wait, he shot us with a pistol or... An RSH 12, or he shot us with an Ash 12. I don't know. All right. Uh, I think we'll do a scav run now, just on factory, just to top up and get a bit more gear, because I think we're a little bit low. Um, the good thing is I don't believe we have to go back to any of those same areas for for the DO, uh, for, for the food task. So we can just literally go to the areas left, which is the supermarket and near Concordia. Yeah, so we just go to these two and exit, and we get the 2600 XP, as well as, as long as we survive, we get another 5700 XP there. So, I am going to do a quick scav run first. Uh, we can use that armor and shotgun that we get from the scav run on our next PMC run, so let's do that. Scav, factory, let's go. Alright. Wow, this is a lot of stims and stuff. Just grab whatever we can that's near us and then get out. Oh, there's a car medkit. Let's get out. All right, so that car medkit means we can craft a Salua. So let's just get out. We'll use the shotgun on our next raid too in the backpack and armor. So that's a good win. Simple, but good. Uh, I'll still do it like this and then we'll sort it in there. All right, so put that on. Uh, we can repair that. Put that on. Shotgun on. Get some of that buckshot. Put the rig on. Now, hide out. We can finally craft the last Salua. But I think that'll be done in like 38 minutes. Just this one. So we need to buy one of these. We need to turn the fuel on. 39 minutes. So that will be crafting. And then we will have that task finally done. I want to repair the shotgun real quick. Uh, as for this stuff, I think we will vendor it all, including the SJ6. It's because we need the money. That book sells to Peacekeeper. Ragman will take the Sunnies. And Jaeger will take the knife. Uh, as for meds, take that one in. This one in. And then we just need a helmet and contacts, and we go in. And this actually says to kill players with shotguns or SMGs. So if we can get a couple of plays here, we might be able to finish on a factory run. We'll see how we go. But yeah, we're going to go in streets and get uh, the last of those food places done. Let's do it. Actually, I'm gonna, gonna leave that rig behind. Oh, no, I'll bring it. All right, I don't know what causes that, but it's happened during the loading. Something during the loading causes it to happen. 
where it just disables my microphone and I have to pull it out and put it back in. We're spawned into a war zone and we have to get to the other side of the map. So, I'm just going to run for a little bit, try and get some distance. I'm hoping that was just a scab shooting at me, not a player. everything for now. I think we're going to have to extract through Expo. I think that's going to be the... Yeah, oh. Well, Expo is going to be the closest. We have to go past the, uh... We have to go past the mall. Oh, uh, sorry, the, the... Lexos. That's the one. Which is not going to be fun. What we can do is we can check to see if the car's there. We might be able to see a tail light here. Yep. I think that's a tower light right there. Alright. If we can get to the other two spots and then run back here. I'm just going to run full sprint here just to try and get the distance. Alright, so we'll go around the back. We need to go to the Goshen Supermarket and Sparger, which is pretty much right next to each other. If we can get both those done, we can come back to the car and take the car extract out. Once again, my uh, my shout out to the the wines and partners that have to and the, and the husbands and boyfriends that have to listen through me each day. Or I should not have gone that way, by the way. If the scab boss was up, I would have died then. Have to listen to me, listen to me each day. In the background, on the tally. Hopefully you're having a good dinner. Oh, run. run. Oh, stop hitting me. There's like four here. Just trying to get inside. There's like four scams there. Five scams there. Right, we made it inside. We're good now. I need to get to the end here. Right, this is the shop that we needed to get to. Someone gone upstairs? Well, there could be a player here. We only just spawned in. That's uh, apartment 64, Concordia. One of the more valuable keys to get in that room. But I don't find it good at all. Like, if you find the key, use it, but... I've never had much success in there. Yeah, someone's shooting him now. Let's try and get some distance. If someone's got that key, they've probably got decent gear. Alright, 
this is the Spaja. Delicious sausage is done. We do not want to go near those mines everywhere. Guy is getting lit up. All right, we're going to go straight back to this car extract. Hopefully no one's taken it. Top tap O. Nope. This will be really good for us because we'll get another point four rep. money we'll lay down here so yeah this will give us another point for a rep which gives us what i don't know 1.6 or 1.7 just gives us better scav loot um on top of that shorter cooldown on the scav runs and it's another survive on street so if we can get that second survive it's another i, I really do want to try and get this item it will save us a lot of money and time and effort later so Then we can maybe jump into factory and try and get a couple of kills there, but no big deal if we do or we don't. This will be uh, also two Jaeger tarts done as well, being the dehydration and also delicious sausage. Someone coming. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Alright, we spawned in the theater. Um, and we pretty much ran straight to the, the two shops that we need to get to. And then back to the car. We didn't do any killing or anything. We we did some damage to one guy. Shot him and hit him with 12 pellets and the 198 damage. That was mostly the uh his armor, so it was a scab. So yeah, we got another 0.4 fence wrap, which is actually quite huge. Um, most importantly though, we got our uh, two quests done. So even though we didn't kill anything, it's probably something I should take note of for the Hardcore series. Sometimes you don't have to kill everything. Even though we didn't kill everything, we got in and we got some stuff done and we got out. So yeah, I'm excited to, uh, to hand these quests in and then hopefully we'll be able to get some more stuff done after that. I'd like to do at least one more street. So, right, delicious sausage is done. Gives a ceasefire. Survive and extract the uh, streets of Tarkov through Killmoth Street. And we have Wounded Beast as well, which is kill three scabs while suffering from a pain effect. So, I think we could do ceasefire. Um, we've got the two green cartridges. Uh, all these can go. I think this is full, isn't it? All right, we'll put these down here for now. We'll take the two green cartridges in, drop them off, and we'll go again. Get this other daily done. So the survival will give us another 3000 XP. And then the, uh, the ceasefire will give us another 5,600, so that'll easily get us into 14. All we need to do is get there and survive. So, um, 
I think you get these also from Prapper. So if we die, we should be able to buy. No? Is it green? For ceasefire? Pretty sure you have to use green. It's gonna look really silly if we don't. Who sells them? Jaeger sells them. All right, let's get into streets. Let's go do this uh, do this ceasefire. And as you can see, our fence rep is now 1.68. Right. Kill mob street. We pretty much have to run to down here, turn right, and just keep running straight. This will probably be a play. I can't imagine a scav spawning in. Uh, I suppose a scav could be in that early. Logs. Right, we're gonna grab that Yashanka because we're gonna need it later. Oh, it's not bad. We got some XP. Let's go over to the Killmoth Street. Come on, let's play this. We should get that other helmet back in insurance. This the pr problem I have with this helmet is it doesn't have ear protection. The kill the the extract we have to get to is literally the other end of the street. So we've got to keep running straight down here. I'm gonna go down into the underpass to try and. Avoid running into players. Just really wary about the left right here. This is usually where the players will come from. Got him. Mr. Xiao Jiang. We got Magnum Buckshot. All right, let's go. Do we want to get some more meds while we're here? Anything we can get? Game hates us. All right, turning right. Really worried about those snipers, guys. They're going to ruin our day. I'm just not going to look at them.
And then everything will be awesome. Alright, I'm assuming we did it right. That was the uh, snobs kept behind us. Run! Run! We did it! Victory! So, killed a player. Got a couple of scavs. We spawned here pretty much just killed and looted a little bit of stuff where we were, and then we just ran straight down Kilmore Street until we got to the flare extract, which gave us 2,000 XP, and obviously we got the uh, kill and, and all that. So, big dub, because now we can hand in uh, the Kilmore Street survive uh, task, which was ceasefire, and then also we can get the daily done, which is... Um, survive and uh, extract streets twice which gives us the shift for grip which is needed for a gunsmith task a little bit further on and uh, it's kind of handy to have it'll probably save us about 60 70 thousand rubles all right so let's hand those two tasks in bam and bam so that gets us 14. we are currently twenty two thousand away from 15. those rewards The main one being that shift grip needs to get put aside. And uh, we also got a drill out of that, which is nice. Right, I'm just going to dump this for now. And then what I want to do is go factory. I'm going to use that shotgun with seven rounds. And we are just going to go for it. We're going to try and kill everyone and uh, have big success and see if we can get this daily done. With our uh, with our hideout, I think we should have like, maybe five minutes left on the Salua. 12 minutes left. So let's see, 12 minutes time. Let's get, get this kill. So factory, two kills, one raid. All right, all right, here we go. Huge raid. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. I'm now gonna go this way. Because we are after that pistol player. We got one of them. Oh, the lag. There's like weird lag spot. All right, cool. Team C's down. Got a class four armor on, so I want to take advantage of that. I can hear There's someone walking about, but. Sure, where? Might switch to the pistol just to kill this scab. So I don't shoot through all my shotgun ammo. And drink the pineapple juice. Oh, 
we need to use tech tags, don't we? I think I killed two bears just then. That morphine can be handy later. I think I'm just going to go downstairs, loot all the stuff downstairs, and then leave. I think I could stay in here for a while, but... I'll try and farm some XP, but... I think it might be just best to get that morphine out. I know we need four of them. Pretty hard. So when you hear pistols like that and you got like a shotgun or you're trying to get your Mosin kills, you should try and push them quickly. Because they're the easy kills of the raid. Unless you hear me with a 5-7, then you no longer got the easy kill of the raid. Guys, up there. One. Attack. And you sick tag. If you are caught out in the open like that, try and get it get back to cover if you can. If you can't get back to, like if they saw me coming out here and they were trying to push me. If you can't get back to cover, obviously you turn and face and you try and shoot. Going prone can help. But ultimately, you want to try your best to fight someone and um, from the position of your, your choosing. So move back to cover, fight from there. That's usually the best way you can do it. All right. Really strong and good raid there. I can see that, that overheating light flashing on the camera. So I think the camera's going to die in a minute. Um... Four PMC kills, 3,392 XP, and we also got the daily done. So that's a big one. Um, I think the daily was a couple hundred, uh, couple thousand XP, maybe even 3,000. So um, nice. And we got some USEC tags. So we've got Friend from the West part one. I think we need seven tags or five tags. We've got two more. I think we had one at the start. Yeah, always try and keep your position moving and try not to fight someone just standing out in the open. You, that's when you're most likely going to get clapped. Uh, 3,800 3, XP actually for that. That was quite quite a lot. Um, and we got those two tags, so. Uh, as for this mess, absolute mess right here. Hmm, what do we do? I think I'm going to go to the hideout. Look for the salutes. All right, it's 57 seconds left. So let's uh, quickly sell 
anything we don't need. So that can go. I don't like those contacts at all. They sound really bad to me. All right, uh, therapist. The mayo can go. Oh, this is this is rough. Like stuff like the drill and the corrugated hoses are really handy for later. Oh, we logistics we need later. I think KPRL is a better key, so we'll get rid of KRL. Sell that, that, and that for now. Maybe even the coffee. The water filters, oh, when we get flea, they'll actually sell for a bit more, and we're not far from flea. 14K. I think we have to sell some guns. That, those, that SVD, we kind of want to sell on the flea as well. Uh, we might sell that AK. I just need the space. Fortunately, standard account problems. Get rid of the M4. The Salua. The funny part about this, when you hand it in, I'm pretty sure it gives you heaps of med. All right, so this is gas analyzers. Reward therapist. Yeah. So now we're gonna sell all those. And we are currently 12,000 XP away from the next level. I don't actually know what's probably the best path of getting experience points from here. Probably doing signal on shoreline would be my guess. We're uh, we'll off to wait and see, but that is gonna be it for today's episode. A bit of a longer one, but I wanted to get those PMC kills. Ah, bit of fun. Um, hope you guys enjoy episode nine. So last episode for the week will be tomorrow um, and hardcore's in full swing now. So uh, hopefully you're enjoying the hardcore as well. Um, I'm really enjoying both of these uh, accounts. Even though hardcore is punishing me, it's, it's a good challenge for me. So uh, hopefully you're learning a lot. Hopefully I'm teaching you things that you, you don't know or at least giving you some entertainment. Much love, uh, like and comment, all the good stuff. And lastly, I'll see you next time.